In this video, we're going to be correcting tone and color within the Enhance application. You're going to be using these features of Enhance to get your color and tone correct in your photograph before you do further processing. An easy place to get started is using the Auto Tone and Color buttons. If you want to select those, you simply single click and it will create an Auto Tone for you. If you prefer to use manual controls, there's a couple options available to you. We have an icon-based approach in the top pane and the lower pane represents sliders. And they're both doing the same thing, just in different ways, and you can use either one based upon your preference. For example, if you want to increase or decrease your exposure, you can simply click the plus buttons or the minus buttons, respectively, based upon what exposure value you need to do. The exposure handles the brightness and darkness of the photograph. So if you want to increase the brightness of the exposure, you can simply take the slider and move it over until the, you get the desired result that you want. The contrast is going to do just that, increase and decrease the contrast within the photograph. So by increasing the contrast, you're going to further separate the lights and the darks within the photograph. Shadows represent just that, the darker parts of the photograph. So if you want to brighten up some of those shadows, you can simply take the slider and move it over to the right to make your adjustments. And the highlights are going to be doing the same thing as the shadow slider, just on the highlights within the photograph. So if you want to increase those highlights and make them brighter, you're going to move that slider over to the right. The whites represent the brightest part of the highlights. So again, if you want to brighten those up or darken those, you're going to adjust that slider accordingly. The blacks represent the darkest parts of the shadow. So if you want to darken down some of those blacks or brighten those up, you have that adjustment available to you with the slider. The detail slider represents mid-tone or local contrast. So as you increase this, you're going to see more contrast at those mid-tone levels. Typically, this makes the photograph punch a little bit more in certain areas and stand out. In the lower section, we're going to work with our color adjustments and white balance. So if we want to increase the warmth within the photograph and shift that white balance, we can again simply move the sliders to the desired location. You can also change the tint as well and we also have saturation and vibrant sliders. Saturation is going to increase the color within the photograph universally, so as I increase this, you'll notice a boost in all of the colors. The vibrant slider increases the colors in a more subtle way than the saturation slider, so you can increase this, and it's not going to increase those colors as quickly or as powerfully as the saturation slider. A great feature within the Enhance application is that if you're doing portrait work and you're increasing the saturation and the vibrance, sometimes it can change and skew skin tones within the photograph. So we have this selection here to reduce the vibrance on skin. That way it's not increasing in saturation or vibrance with the rest of the photograph. 